today I want to show you how to make this really fun coffee cup gift card holder. Now it's obviously shaped like your uh, takeaway coffee cups, but inside it's got a clever little gift card holder. So you can give this as a gift to someone, or you can make it without the holder if you want, just to hold a message inside for someone. Now this is perfect for someone who loves coffee, of course, but then around winter time it's going to be absolutely perfect for making into maybe a cup of hot chocolate or something like that. So we're going to start using the templates from Craft World. So I have downloaded these, I have printed them off at home and I've started cutting out my pieces already. So I've already cut my main card base. I've got my cup wrap here that I need to do as well. Now there is a video on Craft World showing you how to use printable templates for shaped cards like this. So as per the video, I have adhered my cutout template onto the cardstock that I've chosen. Uh, I'm now cutting around it. Now the way I've adhered this is with a spray adhesive. Uh, it's a repositionable one so that I can peel off the template afterwards and be left with the perfect shape or sized piece to put my card together. So just going around the very edge of this using the template as a guide, I'm going to discard the waste and I'm now going to use those dotted lines there as a guide for score lines. Now when the lines are at an angle like this, so you can't butt your card up to the edge there and get a perfect straight line, the best way to, I find to do it is to use the very edge of your scoreboard, the last score line, and use this as a marker at the top and at the bottom of your score line and go through with your scoring tool, through the template and into the cardstock underneath. And then the same again on this second score line here. So going through both and you can still reuse your template. So I'll just peel that off because it's got the repositionable tack on the back from the spray adhesive. I can now pop that onto something like uh, a piece of acetate there and save that for another time. So I've now got my score lines in my wrap and it's very simple. We're just going to fold these into each other to create the shaped wrap. Now this tab is for gluing. So I'm going to adhere that in just a moment. I'm going to get all my pieces together first. So I've got my card wrap from a, this is actually a thin, very thin chipboard. So it was a piece of packaging that I've used for this. I like that sort of cardboard look, um, that sort of recyclable paper that you would often get as a wrap around a coffee cup. I've got an ivory card stock here for the actual cup itself. Um, I've then got the gift card holder. So this I've used a colored piece of card stock. I've cut around the edge, but I still need to cut this thumbnail in. So I'm just going to do that um, just by, or thumb notch, I believe they call these, when you've got a small semicircle like this. And I'm just using a craft knife and I'm going in where the line is on a self-adhesive, uh, self-healing mat, sorry. Just making sure I go through the cardstock. Now before I remove my template I'm going to check that I have cut all the way through there and that's just created that little lip for our gift card to sit into. So now again just removing my template and putting that to the side. So I've now got my little notch there to be able to tuck my card into. Now on top of that there isn't a template for this but I've just measured it myself. A small panel of cardstock that will mat onto there. And then I've got two more pieces and these make up the lid. Okay, now these are two pieces because it makes it dimensional. As you can see here, you've got the lip of the lid as well as the center. Now before adhering these together, what I've done is on um, this one is I've used my embossing ink and my white embossing powder just to add a white shiny glaze to it. So I've done that both on both layers here. And as you can see, You've got a little bit of shine on there. It makes it look, it gives it more of that plastic look. So let's start adhering everything together. Now I always ink all my pieces first before I start putting things together. And I tend to use the same color ink as well throughout any project. So I'm going to use, this is a distress ink and this is tea dye. And I'm just going to brush around the edges. This just gives it more of a finished and polished look. So go around all the edges here with my blending tool. And then this just folds in half. You can score it, but I find folding it works just as well. Fold it in half. And now we've got our coffee cup shape. 
it doesn't matter which side is the front and which is the back I'm going to go around the edges as well of the wrap don't forget the middle score lines too because when you fold this they will then be edges also so again using the same brown there we go and then the same again with my gift card holder now I'm not worrying about the lid here because that's going to be covered over with the white but just brush around the edges there okay so now let's start adhering things together just use a, a wet glue so you don't have any dimension for the patterned piece in the middle uh, let me just measure this for you this piece is um, almost two and a half inches by just over three inches that's not an exact measurement of course but it gives you a rough guide for how big to cut this you can simply draw around your template if you want or use your template as a guide to cut yourself a piece of pattern paper and just bear in mind the pattern paper should match well with the color of cardstock that you've used for your gift card holder now I'm gluing that but before I glued it down I did tuck it underneath the little thumb notch there then I'm going to glue down the first layer, the largest layer of my lid, over the top of this here. There we go. And I'm just going to trim again around the edge just to neaten up where I've got a slightly, I've slightly gone over the edge there with some of my cutting around my templates. I wasn't very accurate with that, but I can neaten that up now. There we go. And now this piece I'm going to add on with some foam tape rather than using a wet glue for this because I want it to stand out. I want it to be sort of lifted up to show that it's dimensional. So just one line of foam tape across the base there. And snip that. Peel off the backing. If I can just get my thumbnail underneath there and pop this onto there okay now for the actual base we don't do any gluing on this part we can leave that completely free you can glue the edges if you want to but it would have to be a tiny amount just at the top the wrap is going to hold everything together for you now you can use a wet glue but because I've used a card stock here a cardboard rather that is really um, really absorbent I'm going to use myself a double-sided tape to secure this part just because any glue would be absorbed into the cardboard really really quickly and you may not have time to um, glue this or adhere this together before that glue gets absorbed into the cardboard so just using a tape and of course that will then sit on the surface you could use other things you could use things like staples if you wanted to whichever your preference is now you can do this two ways you can fold it over the back as i have or on this one i've actually tucked it in behind it's entirely up to you it doesn't matter either way if you want a, a clear back and front you could do it this way so just lining everything up and tucking the wrap over the top of the cup there. And now we've got our gift card holder inside that fits perfectly with the lid on top. Now it's really fun if you want to add something like a little pull tab there just to suggest you need to lift this up. And then for decoration here, all I've done is I have cut an oval of the pattern paper that I used in the middle there so everything coordinates. I've cut myself a sentiment from white that matches the lid and I've cut myself a little lacy border from a die that I had. I believe it was um, everyday journaling um, die that I had and I've cut this from the same blue as I used for the gift card holder. So it's all matching in there. So that just makes yourself a really fun gift card holder for anybody who loves their takeaway hot drinks.